Ingram. Pass was caught and then fumbled. This is Clint Buckley with ETSN. I'm here with Carthage head football coach Scott Surratt after his team's 42-20 to win at White House. Coach, uh, a lot of good things uh, from your team tonight. Uh, what stood out to you the most? Well, the way we controlled the game, you know, offensively, and then they hit the big play to Javier. He, you know, he, he may be the best athlete on the field. You know, obviously we got some, but he, he's special. But um, other than that, I thought we controlled the pace of the game. We went fast. We went slow. Um, you know, we got them off most of the time. We give, we give up, a, you know, roughing the passer that killed us early. Um, but, you know, just the pace of the game I, I was pleased with. Um, your offense was able to overcome uh, three first-half turnovers. Uh, played pretty well aside from that. Uh, what did you like uh, from, from your offense in particular tonight? Well, you, first of all, the three turnovers, two of them were self-inflicted. It's crazy turnovers, you know, dropped a pitch, and, you know, it's crazy. But anyway, um, you know, I liked how, you know, we went, like I said, we went fast, and I liked how we mixed it up. We, for us to be our best, we got to mix it up in the run, run game. Being able to run it with Keontae, we wasn't very happy at all last week. And, and we got in his ear a little bit. You thought you saw the maybe the best back in Texas tonight, and uh, but uh, and then we we threw the ball very well. Uh, talk about Gunner, man. I think this is back-to-back uh, -back weeks with four touchdown passes. Uh, how are you, how are you are you pleased with his progression so far? It's getting better every week, and you know I don't think he had any turnovers tonight, and um, you know for his interceptions, and but he's getting better every week, and those receivers are, are really good, and he's got to get it around them, but you know he's going to be he's going to be a really good one. Defensively, uh, you guys kind of clamped down on them uh, for, for most of the game. Uh, Ja'Cory with, with three interceptions. Uh, talk about the, the defense's all-around effort tonight. Oh, it's great. You know, we knew that they would get a play or two because uh, they, they got a pretty good offense. But, um, you know, we, we got them off the field most of the time on third downs. There was a couple couple we gave up. But, uh, you know, great effort. And I thought we tackled for the most part real well besides Javier made a special play. All right. Uh, next week, uh, next Saturday, you got the stage all to yourselves against Gilmer. Uh, Probably going to be one versus two in the state. Uh, I know you're looking forward to that. Uh, what's what's going to be kind of the message to your kids this week? Uh, get better. I mean, we're not reading. As long as we don't read ink, ink poison, keep getting better. You know, we, we'll have a chance to maybe do something. But we've got to continue to get better because we know that uh, Gilmer's going to be very good. We know Henderson and Kilgore. I mean, we got a long way to go, and we still we got to stay healthy through that run, but continue to get better technique technique wise and become more physical. All right, Coach, I appreciate it. That was Scott Surratt after his team's 42-20 win over White House. This has been Clint Buckley for ETSN.